Media. Hello, 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 and welcome to the Media Channel. I'm your host, William Hugh. In this episode, we have got a really fun tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how you can put your words into the mouths of film stars, politicians, royalty, in fact, anyone you want. And all you need is their photo and Sony Vegas Pro. And here's how you do it. Here I am now in Sony Vegas. This particular version is 13. And here is the photo that I want to make talk. Now we're going to need about three video tracks to do this. So if you haven't got enough, click on insert, video track, and get yourself some more. So when we've got enough video tracks, the first thing we need to do is right click and copy the clip. And then right click and paste and just park it here for now. We will need it shortly. The first thing we need to do is to use masking to cut a hole in the face to represent the open mouth. And we want the hole to show a dark background beneath. So first we will need a dark background. So right click on the track beneath and choose insert generated media and then choose solid color. As you can see, the color shown is white. So we will need to change it to black like this. And there it is. And I'll just stretch it out a bit like this. So now when we cut the mouth hole, we will see the black behind. So to cut the mouth hole, click on the clips event pan crop tool here. Ensure that the sync cursor is on so that the cursor position here will be reflected in its position on the timeline. Also make sure that the cursor is at the beginning of the clip. Now click on mask, which is this line here and we'll create the mask. As you can see, there are a number of different mask tools here, but the one we want is the anchor creation tool. Now I'll just zoom in with my mouse wheel to see it a wee bit better. And I'm just going to click some points like this to define the mouth hole. And finish off by clicking on the first point again to complete it. As you can see, the mask is actually the wrong way round. It's one big hole with a little cut out mouth. We need the hole to be where the mouth is. So we just come up here and reverse the mask from positive to negative. And there we are, a mouth hole. Now we need to put a false mouth over the hole we've made so that we can move it up and down to simulate speech. And we're going to make that out of the duplicate clip we made earlier. And again, we will be using masking. So I'll just drag these down a bit to make some room and then drag this clip on top. OK, let's make the mouth and chin mask. So click the event pan crop tool again. And in exactly the same way we did on the first mask, we'll make sure the cursor is at the beginning of the clip. Click on mask. Click the anchor creation tool. But this time I'm going to make the mask a little bit bigger. Covering my bottom lip and chin like this. And although you can't see it yet, this bit is now a cutout overlaid on the picture here and hiding the mouth hole. And we will be able to move it up and down to open and close the mouth. To make it easier for ourselves, we can restrict the movements to up and down only by clicking on this tool and just choose the movement we want. There it is up and down. Now, if we change onto the position track here and grab the clip and move it up and down like this, you can see the effect it has on the screen. Now this will allow us to control the mouth using the timeline. So for example, if we wanted to start speaking here, we create a keyframe where the mouth is shut. Now click say, maybe two frames ahead. And I'll just zoom in with my mouse wheel here to make it easy to see. And now create another keyframe. And open the mouth slightly like this. Then move the cursor to where we want the mouth to close. Add another keyframe to mark the end of the open mouth. Then another couple of frames and add another keyframe with the mouth shut. Now you can either shut the mouth manually or just copy the closed mouth key points from the beginning and paste it in here. And as we run through the points, you can see the cycle of open and shut on the screen. And once you've got this open and close cycle, you can copy and paste it as often as you like. And the final task is to introduce your soundtrack and then move your mouth opening and closing key points to match the speech. Altering the distance between the open points and the closed points will of course determine how long the mouth stays open. 
Unfortunately, there's no quick way to do this. You just have to plug at it until it's done. But when it's finished, you can render to video, and this is what you get. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to make pictures talk. A bit like this. So there you go, making pictures talk. Hope it was useful to you. Well, that's all for this episode. Don't forget to comment, like and share. And I'll see you here next time. On, on the, the Media, Media Channel. Channel.